My name is Zeb. I'm a cartoonist from France, actually from Geneva in Switzerland, but I'm working for a French publisher. And it's my, uh, I'm here in New York for my first book published in, uh, in America, Story of Man. I played in many bands since I'm uh, I like 13, um, so I know the field. For this kind of my this part of my work, the, the the realistic part of my work, I think I'm more influenced by cinema than by than by comics. Uh, so Titov is a is a kid character, but is. He has readers uh, from uh, from seven to to, to seventy seven. Uh, you have to be transgressive because I think cha a childhood is transgress transgressive. Is is what makes you grow. So uh, when you're a child, you're you're kind of child with your parents, but when they're not there, you, you're a different child, and that's. That's this part who interests me. For Titov, I, uh, it was more uh, uh, like a militant because I, I wanted to change the, the, the field. I wanted to change the, the way uh, to, to make the comics in France. I, think, I thought it was very uh, uh, bold and very uh, uh, regressive. We always uh, were looking back and in, the, in the 60s and we didn't want to change the, the things. Before, before Story of Man, I made almost 40 books in France and humoristic books. So I have a different style of drawing and this style was very influenced by the other cartoonists because I, I began as a kid. When I was a kid, I, I wanted to be a cartoonist. So uh, like I think all the other kids who want to, to, to make cartoons, we copy the other and uh, we, we build our, our style in copying. Uh, I have done a lot of one-shots around Titaf, uh, some for adults, like Happy Sex. Happy Sex is a, a big success in France, like almost uh, half a million copies. And uh, it's, a, it's a comedy about uh, sexuality. Uh, I, think, I don't think I'm obsessed, but I, I'm a bit militant because uh, I think it's, it's cool to have sex in the stories for adults and it's cool to mention sex in the in every stories because when you're a kid you can easily understand that it's a, it's a really important subject when you when you get old but nobody told anything about that just say you will see also because when i was a kid it was i was a kid in the 70s in the 70s in in europe and in france there was a, a really a wind of freedom and, and there were movies at the TV uh, with, with very the nudity, with sex, and talking very uh, uh, freely about sex. When I, I became 15, uh, it was the beginning of, of, the, of AIDS, and suddenly sex was the, the most dangerous thing in the world. You, you, so I, was, I had a girlfriend, but we didn't know if we can make sense, because we, we just know that sex was... Uh, 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 you could die if you make love and I think I want to um, do some kind of re rehabilitation of, uh, of sex as a fun subject not only as a, a warning subject In France, we, we often talk about the golden age of comics and the, the 50s and the, the early 60s. But I really think that the golden age is, is today in France because it's really more interesting because we mixed, um, we mixed a lot of style, uh, comics, manga, uh, comics from all over the world and we mix all the, these influences. In the 50s and in the 60s, everybody is working the same way because we didn't know that there were, there were comics all around the world. Well, 
when you when you're an artist there you have to draw uh, some characters that that you don't own that that are not your own it's not it's not usual in france it's very uh, sometimes it happens but not so uh, the most of the time you create your own comics and you make your own comics and you live by uh, you live with your the, the royalties of, of what you have created and it seems very different there. so you have this uh, um, it's very peculiar this artist LA the, the artists are drawing and you and you buy them some uh, some drawing when you go in a, in a book fair in France um, you draw it's free you, you don't make you, you don't uh, ask for money to, to, to make because you do the you do the drawing in the books to sell the books it's, a, it's like a, a service to, to sell the books it's for the editors it's a part of the job thank you for watching beyond the long box if you enjoy the show or would like to see more please hit subscribe and we'll continue to bring you the best in comics Worship me!